Hello, I'm Scott Stevens, uh, James City County Administrator. I've been on the job three weeks. So I really am just doing this uh, video introduction as a way to say hello, tell you a little bit about me, a little bit about expectations I have of county employees, uh, really letting you know we're here to serve you, and if you need me to please reach out uh, to me. We'll have the number on the screen so you can have that and uh, follow back up with me. Call my office. Uh, definitely I'm open to suggestions and your comments in the community. So uh, a little about me. You know, I, my, my background is civil engineering. I graduated from North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Grew up in that area. Uh, went to work for the State Department of Transportation for seven or eight years. Moved into local government in eastern North Carolina with the city of Kinston as their city engineer, their public service director, which is really the person that handled uh, public works and public utility issues. Worked in water, sewer, electric systems, cemeteries, fleet maintenance, uh, street maintenance, stormwater, all those kinds of things that local governments uh, do. Uh, moved into the city manager role there in Kinston. Was never really my intent, but it turned out to be a really good fit that time in my career. The council in Kinston gave me an opportunity for that. Served in that role for a number of years. Was hired as Goldsboro City Manager, which I retired from uh, in September of this past year. So I had a, a very interesting and exciting career for me in North Carolina over almost almost past 30 years. A lot of infrastructure built, a lot of water sewer projects, a lot of things, uh, building projects, baseball fields, uh, sports complex, things of that nature. I was just at the right place at the right time to have a lot of good experiences and a lot of fun in my career and moving forward. have worked with a lot of great people. And in, in all of these things, uh, I think people that are successful know it's not them. It really is the group of people around them. I've been fortunate to have really good people around me. I'm finding that here in James City County that we have a phenomenal staff. The leadership team here really cares about the community. I've been out with employee groups for the past three weeks really saying hello. I have a a uh, number of meetings to go on so that I get out in front of every employee. But the employee group here seems to be a highly motivated, very interested in their job, enjoys what they're doing for the community, likes serving it. Um, not to say we don't have some good days, bad days, and come across a little better or worse at times, uh, but I've been really, really pleased to be joining this group. Um, part of my interest in James City County was one I was familiar with this area. I have shared that, that I had grandparents that lived over in York County in the Dandy and Seaford area, so I've been visiting this community my whole life. I didn't always know I was in James City County, but I knew I was at Bush Gardens, or I knew I was at Jamestown, or I knew I was in Williamsburg, and so I have been in and out of this area all of my life. And again, so it's, it's not home, but it's very familiar and a place that I've always enjoyed. So I left North Carolina really a year or two early because of the opportunity here. And when I came up and interviewed and talked with the Board of Supervisors, they seem to work really well together. The more I've investigated the community from a quality of life, the parks and recreation, the proximity, the growth, the financial condition of the community, uh, three AAA bond ratings for this James City County, um, there is a lot of reasons that someone would want to be part of this organization, myself included. So I really am excited to be your county administrator, to be part of this community, and I look forward to serving it in the years to come to just take it better and better. I don't want to say to the next level, because I think there's a pretty high standard already here, but I want to help take this strategic plan that's been put in place that a lot of effort has gone into and really realize the vision for that for the community. So that's that's really my goal. When folks say, what are you going to do? It's working with the Board of Supervisors, understanding what's important to them because they understand what's important to you in the community, and then working through the strategic plan that's there to get us there. So uh, I would tell folks, find me if I can help. Uh, my first few weeks, I've met a lot of people. I've learned an awful lot about organizations. I've been to a ton of meetings. Uh, that's part of the nature of the job, and, and I expect it to clear in a couple of weeks that when folks are talking about a project, I'll be able to participate. I'll know more about the history of it. I'll know how we've gotten to where we are. And what I found in past transitions, that takes a week or a month or two or three. And so I'm working through that. At least at this point, uh, week three, when people are talking about a topic, I've heard it before, so it's not the first time in terms of names. Some of them are sinking in, uh, but uh, that is ongoing for me. I am out talking with employee groups. I said that earlier. We have 700 and some employees. I've probably talked to a little over 200 in week three. My goal is to get to all of them. And it, part of that is, is they're important. We can't do or provide the services to this community without the employees. And I want them to know that they matter. And I don't know how to do that except to go to them and say that, tell them from me that they matter. Let them ask questions of me. Let them have their opinion of me. And so that is a high priority for me for these coming weeks. And so for the next three weeks or so, that'll be a big part of my time in and amidst the other normal meetings. My message to employees, safety first. We want to be safe for ourselves and for you in the community. We want to do what we say we will do. So if we tell you we're going to do something or commit to it, we do that. 
we want to act professionally. We, we want to have a good image. We have that image, I think, very, very good image today. But I want all our employees to know they matter. They, how they interact with people, how they present themselves makes a difference. So I think that's important. And then the fourth item is to treat everybody with respect, from citizens to coworkers to subordinates to others that they interact with, treat people right. So those are my four messages or expectations to all of our employees, myself included. And I would say, if you have a good experience with an employee, please share it with me. We want to recognize that employee and pass that on to them. And likewise, if you have an unpleasant experience, let me know. We'll work on that. We can learn from those and make all of us better for that. Uh, you know, we're in a position as your local government to sometimes tell you no to things that you would like us to do. That's a position that is hard, and some of us are better at saying no in a nice way so you understand it, and some of us are a little more blunt with that no, and so we can learn and how to be a little softer in that. But we really are here to serve the greater needs of the community, and so I look forward to being part of the great team that's been assembled here for James City County. Um, outside of that, uh, the, the, you know, the first two weeks I was here, we had a tropical storm that became a bigger event, and a tornado touched down in the northern part of our community. Uh, working through the debris side of that, uh, at this point, uh, we don't expect any outside funding to help with debris removal, so we're trying to not overcommit county resources because our resources are the community's resources, right? It's your money that we're spending here, and we're trying to do that in the most appropriate fashion. So we are working through the debris side of that. Areas of the tornado, uh, and it's been very few homes at this point in terms of picking up at no charge, we have offered that to very isolated areas that seem to have more damage than the rest of the community. And I know we're generating some conversation in that, and so we're still having discussion and assessing. Uh, but other parts of the community, we have reduced our fees, and we will pick up a significant amount of debris for you for $50 if you'll call us by October 28th. So you need to call into General Services. We'll have that number here posted so that you can know where to call or go online and schedule that. There's a debris tab at the bottom of our webpage uh, where you can go ahead and schedule that pickup. Uh, again, trying to do what we can to meet the needs of those in the community while not passing on that burden to everybody else in the community as well. So. With that, I think I will sign off for today. I really am excited to be here. I hope folks get out and enjoy, I guess, the cooler weather. Uh, I'm a summertime person myself, but this time of year is not all bad with 70 degree days and 50 degree nights. Uh, I hope that'll extend out a month or two, and then we'll get into the Christmas, the Thanksgiving holidays and, and go from there. If you need me, find me. Again, the number should be posted below me so that you can reach out and call me. I'm Scott Stevens, your James City County Administrator. Uh, been on the job a couple weeks, but really excited to be here and really look forward to meeting each of you as the weeks and days go on. So give me a call if I can be of service. Thank you.